Hi, welcome back to my channel, Zoe Naturals, and today I will be giving you a video on my wash and go for my TWA, my teeny weeny fro for those who don't know what TWA stands for. Um, so yeah, this is my teeny weeny fro, and as you know, my last video, um, I did a tapered look, and I had hair coming down in the front. Um, it got old pretty quick. A couple of days I would say um, and I told my husband I just want to go ahead and just chop it all off and just start from the beginning and start fresh um, I've decided this time um, in my natural hair journey that I will not be coloring my hair anymore um, I will not be straightening my hair the only heat that I will be applying to my hair is um, my blow dryer when I diffuse my hair and I just use this little nozzle right here to diffuse it comes off you can take it off and put it on or whatever um, so that's the only heat that I will be uh, applying to my hair um, what else um, I will have a clip at the end of this video uh, showing you all oh, you all seen um, my husband cutting my hair um, he used an 8 inch guide I believe is what he said I'm not sure um, but I will put it down in the description box for you all um, what he did use um, also um, in the wash and go um, the clip that you'll see as far as the wash and go you'll just be seeing me apply my leave-in conditioner um, and my styling product so you don't see me washing or co-washing my hair or detangling my hair or deep conditioning my hair um, but I can do separate videos for y'all to show you um, an updated co-wash video or how I shampoo my hair those things um, so what I used to condition my hair or co-wash my hair um, was the suave rosemary and mint conditioner um, this is invigor invigorating clean for all hair types um, and I really like the way this makes my hair or my scalp feel like it feels clean after using this product so I really really like that and my hair is extra soft um, it does say it's a hundred percent natural rosemary and mint in there so this is what it looks like and you can get this at Walmart your local Walmart Target um, whatever, whoever, oh, I'm pretty sure everybody carries it I know I bought mine from Walmart I can't remember the price at the moment but that's where I got it it's inexpensive I do know that um, and for my deep condition, um, I use the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, intensive Hydration Hair Mask with African Rock Fig and Baobab Oil. Pretty pro Probably didn't say that right either. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, and this product was actually given to me by a friend. Um, but I think that she got it from Target, if I'm not mistaken. I think Walgreens sell it and CVS. Um, and I can't, I don't know the price of this either just because it was given to me. Um, so yeah, those are the products that you don't see me use. I use this to co-wash and then I use this um, to deep treatment, for a deep treatment for my hair. Um, and I left this on my hair for 30 minutes. Um, you can leave it up there for an hour or however long. You can even sleep with it in your hair. Um, but for the purpose of the video, I just left it in for 30 minutes. Um, let's see. Once I finished with that, um, my leave-in conditioner I used. Now, this is a funny story, you guys, because when my hair was longer, I did, like, this stuff, for, for some reason, did not work for my hair. Um, so, I didn't use it. Like, I have pretty much, well, not really a whole bottle now because I've been using it since my hair has been short. Um, but, yeah, when it was long, I just... I didn't like the way it made my hair feel for some reason but I love it now and that is the mixed chicks leave-in conditioner and you can purchase this from your local Walmart Target beauty supply store as well um, this is a little pricey I do know that um, I want to say it was like ten dollars I believe I'm not mistaken don't don't quote me on that but yeah, again, it's in your local Walmart or Target. Um, behind that, um, to seal in that moisture, I did use my um, Vitamin Shop 
jojoba oil i just purchased this from my local vitamin shop um and it was very inexpensive as well um as my styler this is another product that i did not use i've used this and this on my daughter's hair and it did all right for her hair i did i used it when i did a coil out finger coil out for her hair um so it worked and also this product i used on her hair as well but again when my hair was long for some reason it just did not do right for my hair and this is the curls goddess curls botanical jelly um and i really feel like it helps define my curls like super defined um, and so I really, really like that. And I, I like the fact that both of these products mix well together. So <clears throat> that's what I love. Um, to slick down my edges, of course, I use my Eco Styler Gel with olive oil. Um, this is my favorite Eco Styler Gel. Now, if I had to pick and choose a gel, it would be the Fantasia Gel. Um, I believe this is what it's called. Um, but I ran out of that, so this is the next thing. And when I when I'm out of my Fantasia gel, if I have the curls um, passion fruit con curl control paste, um, I use that as well to slick down my edges. But I'm out of both of those, so I went to my handy dandy Eco Styler gel, um, and it does all right. I, the main reason why I don't like using it is just because it pretty it leaves flakes in my hair. But um, I didn't use it for my whole head. Um, that's what my curls. Um, botanical jelly is for um, but I just use it to kind of slick down my edges and you'll see that in the video um, as, as you watch so yeah um, that's pretty much it it's just my updated wash and go um, routine and again I can in a different video show you how I deep condition and oh yeah and one thing that I do do when I deep condition my hair um, and I sit for 30 minutes to an <clears throat> excuse me to an hour um, I do use my hooded blow dryer to kind of speed up the process and for the um, product to kind of soak into my hair better. Um, so that's another tip that you could do. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please link those or post those down in the comment section below. Again, I will link all of these products down in the description box and where you can purchase them from. Um, I would also I will also uh, leave the type of clippers or the guide I guess that's what they call it that my husband used to cut my hair um, please don't forget to subscribe thumbs up this video I really 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 appreciate it and I will see you all in my next video bye starting on freshly co-washed hair I'm going to take my mixed chicks leave-in conditioner I'm just going to apply that throughout my whole head. Um, as you will see, I will focus that mainly on the middle of my head just because that's where my hair tends to be the driest. So I'm going to take my jojoba oil and seal in that moisture from the leave-in conditioner. Um, you can use your olive oil, castor oil, grapeseed oil, um, or whatever oil you may have handy at that moment. And again, I'm just going to focus that on the middle of my scalp just to kind of prevent that dryness. So next I'm taking my curls, Goddess Curls Botanical Jelly, and I'm just going to apply that all over my head as well um you guys this gives me great definition and i love it paired with the mixed chicks leave-in conditioner
So yeah, I'm just gonna take some more of that jojoba oil and just seal in all of that moisture. Now taking my diffuser on a warm heat at a high setting, I'm going to go ahead and diffuse my hair. Um, ladies, now you can let it air dry. Um, that is an option, um, but I prefer this way just because it kind of speeds up the process. Now I'm going to use the cool shot um, and this is just another way of sealing in all of that moisture. Now I'm just going to pick out the top of my hair um, and that is the longest part of my hair. I just like to kind of pick it up just kind of so you can see the difference from the top and the sides. Now I'll be using my Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel to slick down my edges. Um, I've heard good things about the Argan one as well, the Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel. I haven't used that one. This is the only one that I've used, um, but this one works great for laying your edges down. So thank you for watching you guys. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed this video and you got a lot of insight on how I achieve my wash and go. Bye.